Yo, it's Teddy with Caravan Film Crews. This is our biz dev channel. No flashy titles, no color correction, no editing, no gimbals, no drones. This is just cell phone cameras. It's not even mirrorless. Or maybe it's mirrorless, actually. Uh, but uh, today, you know, this channel is only devoted to people who are starting out or wanting to start out in their production company or freelance video and photography company and they're really not sure where to go or, or what to do next um, how you know what to expect even and how they should go about building it into a more successful you know um, business and today we're going to talk about whether or not you should do videography and photography um, t you know just to keep it real there are a lot of people out there who love to take pictures, love to do video, but um, like the security of having their degree and you know go and getting a real job and all that stuff. And they you know they also receive a ton of pressure from their parents and their grandparents and aunts and uncles and what's the family gonna say and so many things are you know said about you if you don't finish school and blah 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 blah, blah. and um you know you're, you're taking advice from a, a lot of people who are very used to like the way things used to go and this world is drastically different from when they came up when they were trying to pave a way for themselves and it's definitely something to consider when factoring in the advice that they're giving you not to say that they're they're totally wrong or anything like that but um you definitely have to make a choice you know especially if you love doing videography and photography dude whatever you love to do like you're gonna get paid well to do it you, people people get paid to do things well and if you love what you do you're gonna be good at it and that's the the key right there you know if you love to do videography and photography man I think you should pursue that. If you love to be, if you love to weave baskets, you know what I mean? Do that. Do whatever it is that's going to make you happy that you're going to, you're never going to regret spending time doing. You know, there's, no matter what you do, like there's always going to be money problems. Everybody has a money problem. All the, like everybody has some kind of money problem. It's always going to be there. Every business has money problems. It's part of the journey. It's part of the process, no matter what you choose. So if you're already going to have that, you might as well, you know, do something that you love. And if like if you want to drive Bentleys and Ferraris and you want to buy a mansion, um, you either are going to build whatever business that you love doing into that. Right. Which is painstakingly difficult, no matter what industry you choose, or you're going to do multiple things to add up to that financial um, freedom or, you know, that status that you're seeking but in any case don't do that doing something that you hate you only get one life you're only going to be here for a little while you know if you're 20 if you're 18 19 20 21 22 23 yeah you're super young right now but dude 30 comes around like that you know what i mean 40 comes around like that but don't get stuck doing something you absolutely abhor for 10 15 20 years okay just to find out that one day that you know what i'm tired of being miserable i want to pursue a career in x y and z and now you have to start over having to do the same exact stuff you would have to do anyway if you started at 20 or 18 or 23 you would have to do the same stuff anyway i mean i if, if you want to do something you love for the rest of your life isn't it worth building it out for five years, seven years? You know, like Gary Vee says, just eating shit and not making nearly what you should be making or you want to be making, but putting in the work and the effort to learn and build your craft and build your business development skills and your, your business acumen in order to, you know, progress your business and build that company into something that's worthwhile for you. Like, it would be totally worth it that five to seven years you know somebody asked me a little while ago you know dude you're still like grinding away at this video and photography thing and it's been like two three years or whatever 
And I was like, bro, like I couldn't even get a real degree and unless I spent four years just to get the degree. Now going and getting the job after that and progressing in the job, like that's a whole other thing. So, you know, th- people have these misunderstandings and unrealistic expectations about building their business and also going to school and getting their degree. And, and quite frankly, it's the same kind of struggle. It's the same kind of journey either way. Like there's going to be difficulty. It's not going to be easy the whole time. And there's going to be a period of time you're going to have to spend where you eat shit. You just do it. You just eat shit the whole time. You know, and you might as well do that for something you love. And if anybody has any question as to whether videographers or photographers are going to be relevant in the near future, dude, we live in a content dominated era. All these social media platforms produce content or display content, content that needs to get produced, whether in your personal life with weddings, graduations, um, uh, what's it called? Baby photos, family portraits, um, you know, th- you name it. Like, so there's so many different aspects of personal lives and personal events that g- occur with people that they want filmed and photographed. And on the on the professional side, pff, man, people are coming out with all these new ideas all the time of what kind of content pro- to produce to push their product or service or organization you know, online. It's all the time. There's so much of this stuff out there, whether it's product, videography and photography, event, videography and photography, Kickstarters, um, homepage videos, commercials, um, YouTube content, um, all kind of stuff, interviews and what have you. Businesses need photography and video. And because we're in in a digital world where people don't just watch videos on TV, they watch it on their phones, on their tablets, on their computers. It's not just Hollywood that dominates the scene. It's not just these networks that b- decide who gets to watch what at 10.03 in p.m., okay? Anybody can watch anything at any time. You can push anything you want to anybody at any time, and you do it through photos and video, period, period. And we're at, like, the very the infancy of this era to where people who don't understand this digital content age like they're not pushing it uh on these platforms right now like they're totally not pushing this stuff or whatever business that they got they don't really understand how facebook and youtube ads work they don't really know that they can target people who live next door to them at certain income ranges who are interested in these certain topics and and push their product onto them like it's it doesn't they they're not there yet right and so as those people die off you know just to keep it real as those people as those people die off and the younger generations whether it's their children or you know people that get hired at the company as you know they get to come on and begin to make decisions based on the world we live in the demand for photography and videography is just going to increase the value set upon it is also going to increase and you know I was just at a city council meeting where they elected a, or they didn't elect, they appointed a new city councilman um, to fill a seat because a, a old one had died. And um, one of the points that was brought up in the meeting was that, hey, you know, because this person has has a background in, you know, digital marketing, had owned a digital marketing firm. And um, one of the points that was brought up by the mayor of the city was that, hey, you know, some of these other people bring other things to the table but one thing that this city council lacks is a firm understanding of digital media social media and that needs to be a component in the decision making over the policies and budget decisions within the city within the municipality dude this is the beginning of this era man this is like newborn this is like birthday status okay of this era of digital media being completely relevant all throughout every facet of life and existence you know so um if you love to do videography and photography you totally can build a successful business at it you just have to love it because it's very difficult i consider um videography to be precise as 
the most difficult art to create and I'm you know very familiar with a lot of people in the art world and you know me and a, a few friends of mine we co-owned a an art gallery um, downtown in Sacramento before they built the arena um, in the downtown plaza and man the the best the best artists in the area showcase their work there and I've seen I know them personally and I've seen a ton of their stuff and so you know um, I still think that video is the most difficult art period and you know nobody could really it's really tough to argue with me because not only do we you have to design everything in front of the camera with lighting and wardrobe and set design and all that stuff storyboarding it out before you even get there but then you know what kind of rig do you put it on what kind of lens do you use what are the settings what kind of camera are you going to use for it um and then after all of that oh then not to mention the sound right then after all of that you got to edit the whole thing with sequencing transitions titling color correction um foley i mean all kind of stuff man it's very difficult and if you look at like the film industry um which i would put at the precipice of um art or film art i should say uh it's no no it's very common to see 30 40 50 100 million 200 million dollar budgets for just making the art not purchasing it just making it and these you know these films can make up to a billion and in in series of these things come out and will make a billion each so i'd say you know film is definitely the most difficult art to produce and I say that to say that this industry like it's not like just any Joe Blow off the street can pick up a camera and be able to um, you know create an awesome video it's very difficult to do that and you need a lot of practice a lot of experience you know you need um, a very creative mind um, and there's a learning curve to it that just can't be replicated by an, an amateur um, but not to say that there aren't people who pick it up very fast, but you know, whatever you need to learn, you got to learn it. There's no, no other way around it. But yeah, so, you know, if you, if this is what you love to do, dude, like you got to protect your dream, man. Like you got to fight for it. You got to really, um, fight for the life that you want to live. And you got to really put a priority on it higher than just what other people think. If that can't be the basis for decision making and how you're going to live your life. You really got to follow your heart and, and be true to it. And, and, you know, that's just it and that's all. But yeah, if, if that's what you love, if you love taking photos or making films, if that's what you love to do, I'd say go for it. You know, don't let anything distract you from pursuing that, that goal. And, um, Hopefully by watching this channel, we can help you, you know, with giving you some advice and some tips and tricks. We can totally help you to do just that. So uh, be, be on the lookout. Stay tuned. Follow us on all social media. Um, we're going to have a lot more videos coming out. We've got a ton of work that we're trying to wrap up. And uh, we're looking for some room to breathe to be able to organize everything in a way where you guys all can check it out. But, yeah. Uh, Man, hit me up, dude. DM, uh, tag me in something, whatever. Let's talk. Man, if you can call me, call me, 916-317-8114. And uh, shoot me a text message, man, like whatever. Let's uh, get together. If you want to collab, dude, we are totally down to do that. Um, and that would be awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'm here. We're here. Caravan Film Crews. Get ready. Peace.